Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given equation 128 times x power x minus 2 power 2056 plus 2 power 2055 equals to 0. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. We are going to move these constant terms to the right hand side as you can see in this next step. Now let's go ahead and divide across the board by 128. We are going to divide each and every term by 128 and we can see this 128 and 128 is gone. So we ended up with x power x equals to 2 power 20 56 divided by 128 minus 2 power 20 55 divided by 128. Now let's focus on these denominator parts. So we know that 128 equals to 2 power 7. So therefore I am going to replace these uh, ones by 2 power 7. So therefore our this equation is going to become x power x equal to 2 power 2056 divided by 2 power 7 minus 2 power 2055 divided by 2 power 7. Now let's recall this quotient rule of exponents. We are going to apply it on this part on the right hand side and this term on the right hand side as well. So therefore our this equation could be written as x power x equals to this first term is going to become 2 power when we subtract this thing 2056 minus 7 that is going to give us 2049 minus 2 power 2048. Now let's focus on the right hand side part of this equation and here I have copied it down and we can see that 2 power 2048 is in common. So let me take it out. So I'm going to factor out 2 power 2048 outside. So we are left with the 2 power 1 minus 1. Now we know that 2 power 1 is same as 2 minus 1 which is same as 1. Therefore we can write this thing as 2 power 20 48 times 1 which is same as 2 power 20 48. Now let's focus on this exponent. Let's go ahead and tweak this thing. 20 48 could be written as 8 times 256. Therefore we can write this thing as 2 power 8 times 256. And now let's recall this power rule of exponents. So therefore this could be written as 2 power 8 and whole power 256. Now we know that 256 is same as 2 power 8. Therefore this whole thing could be written as 2 power 8 and then whole power 2 power 8 as well. Now we can see that this whole thing on the right hand side has been simplified to 2 power 8 whole power 2 power 8. Let me go ahead and replace it then. So x power x turns out to be equal to 2 power 8 and then whole power 2 power 8. Now let's recall this basic rule. If a power a equals to b power b, then we can write as a equals to b. Therefore, our this equation could be written as x equals to 2 power 8. And we know that 2 power 8 is same as 256. So therefore, our x value turns out to be 200 and 56 and that is our solution. So thus our solution turns out to be x equal to 256. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.